Okay, welcome back for some more of Hands of Atlas. I'm gonna go into level 9. And there's your technically Triforce checkpoint room. Starting off with nothing that bad. Orange land molas. Man, you really got Gleok at the beginning. What if this is just a regular one? Beating up Gleok, get some money. And this is just a room full of white likes. Now you do want to go into these stairways when you see them. Take you to uh, these types of rooms, and this is probably why you need boots. I'm not even sure how much damage those spikes do. Uh, but this is a little network of four rooms. That look pretty much identical. Basically, which room do you go into? You know, I don't think there are any clues that tell you exactly which room to step in, uh, because... Well, one staircase just goes back to where you came from, so that's no issue. One of them is the correct path that will lead you to an item. And the other two are basically wrong paths. So, we'll go, we'll go into the wrong paths for this one because there's not that much backtracking, but all the other ones I'm gonna avoid the wrong path because they actually lead to the same thing, so... No need for redundancy and tons of backtracking. Alright, so we'll go into this one, and yes, I know this one's wrong. But since this one's near the start, I can show this one off. Uh, so one of them just takes you to the start directly. And the reason I don't mind this one is there's not that much backtracking, it's like four or five rooms or something. So we know this one just took you back to the start. Now if you go into this, this takes you into a very weird room. I'm not even sure how to explain this. I got rid of one of the fire troubles. So I'm not even sure how to explain this type of room. It's uh takes you off the map. And I'm not even I don't even know how this one got mapped already. 
That's kind of weird. Uh, so if you go... Now, I, I think this is maybe a warp error. This takes you right to level 1. Even though you saw the same music playing from level 9. So don't exit the level, then you actually do go out of level 1. And ironically, Pharaoh's win it still gets you to the level 9 entrance. I'm not sure why that happened. I'm thinking that was intended to just take you back to the start, not to the entrance of a whole nother level. I'm not sure how to really explain that one. Yeah, so you'll see it's this pattern of four stairs. You know, one of them you come from, so that's no issue. Uh, one of them just takes you back to start directly. Uh, another one takes you to basically a blue dead end corner room, fire trebles. That takes you to a uh, entrance of a whole nother level. And then one staircase will take you further along the way you want to go. So you want to get to this type of room. Now here, there are going to be two ways to go, but you don't have to really guess on this one, because if you go down the wrong path, you just go back. And if you go down here, find your Master Sword. Which, uh, I'm not sure how you want to describe that as, uh, scissors, shears, or what do you want to describe that? And it has the same, you know, symbol, the circle with a plus to it. I'm not sure how you want to describe this weapon. So again, if you go down the, the wrong path, it just takes you into this, and then you just go back out. Go into the other stairway. So this will only take you back to where you came from, so no backtracking from the start. So you just resume where you left off. This room has, uh, you know, first intro to Death on the Rocks, but you have the rivers to kind of help you out here. Make this room a little easier for you. And I'm just gonna leave one enemy in that room. So again, every time you see a stairway, you do want to go down the stairway. So this is going to take you to another one of these four little square four rooms here. Okay, 
same game. This time I'm not gonna go into the dead ends. I'm gonna... I'll show you which ones are the dead ends, but... Because they lead to the same thing. Alright, this room takes you to the blue room in the upper left corner. Uh, I think that takes you to the entrance of level 4. Uh, this one just takes you back to start. So you want to go in the one that's uh, in the opposite corner. And again, I don't think there is a way to know this. You're just gonna have to guess. I mean, once you get past that point, then getting the item is no issue. Scoop up the mirror shield. I mean, this part I don't mind, but it's that first section. And, you know, you take a wrong, you take the wrong stairway, you're back to the start. You have to backtrack all the way. And it gets really bad when you're at the back end of the level. And you have to backtrack through all these rooms again. And it's just more annoying than it needs to be. Money if you want it. 20 rupees right there. Take your little tour through the four rooms. And this one, I believe, takes you to the lower right corner. So basically the blue room. No, no, it takes the upper upper right corner. Basically the blue room. And it takes you, I believe, to level five entrance. And this one takes you back to the start. Yeah, 
And there's your gold ring. Picking up some nifty items from this place. And I gotta remember to you know, buy some enemy bait. Say if you just uh get the average love, you can't stun it. Man, that's a hundred rupees, we're just gonna leave that alone. And you get into this room, which I'm not even sure, this might even be worse than the last room. This we have mirror robes. a nice little trick you can use is get rid of the fire robes. Let's just get rid of this one first. Get all my magic back. And this one you're gonna take damage no matter what you do. You're getting the, the map out of there. Well, that kind of worked. Now you have three fire robes. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave one there. <clears throat> yeah, so the fire robes take priority over the the mirror robes, which is a big plus. Again, you don't get anything for clearing that room, so you may as well just go past that as fast as you can. Now you're just gonna go around the outside, so the main level is just going around the perimeter of this level. And this room is not bad because of the, the rivers. This room, these types of rooms kind of trivial. Yeah, you got. Uh, I think this is a patch of three. Yeah, yeah it's easier just to tank it out. Can you see how you can't even approach safely? Especially with patch of three, you just spam the fireballs, and that's. Not gonna get any approach with that. 
Although the block tier kind of help, because you can't really get knocked around that much. So we got another one of these rooms here. The square grids. Alright, this one takes you back to start. Alright, this one takes you to the blue room in the lower right corner. That'll take you to the Entrance to level 8. And this is the one I believe you want to go into. See, this gets really bad here, because if you guess wrong, you gotta backtrack through the entire level, go around the entire perimeter of this circle. So, it becomes a real issue. Okay, we got the... Gold arrow, and you actually do need to get this. And the other three items you could skip. Uh, this one you cannot. And, uh, kind of looks like a. I don't know, a javelin? Not sure what that's supposed to be. Good read on that one. And this next room, I think, does get a little mean. rush through that because, uh, yeah, they're, they've got wind ropes there. Just get out of that room as quickly as you can. Yeah, so candle boost down and then, uh, you know, just even hitting the wind rope or even hitting the mirror rope, fine, whatever, just gotta get through that, at least get into the safe areas. That's a 200 rupee piece. I'm just gonna leave that there. Now, if you wanna, you don't, you don't get anything for that room, but if, technically speaking, you're gonna want to get rid of the wind rope first and then re-enter the room because you'll actually despawn the mirror robes. If I, if I remember, that's what you can do. But that room's a little easier to fight the mirror robes in. Now there is, I believe. Yeah, definitely don't want to go left. That's back to the start. So that's why you need the gold arrow for this. So this will take you into the center area, pretty much right next to the end. Now this room looks like similar to the other rooms, but uh, you don't want to rush through it because uh, that's what you're going to get. Yeah, Wallmaster is right at the end just to troll you, basically. Just to catch you off guard there. Alright, 
seconds after getting rid of the gold Aquamentus. Alright, so we hit on the left. Time to face the big boss, which is a uh, big sphere. Oh, you actually couldn't stick it for Ganon. Well, no, not Ganon, a uh, Dig Docker. You actually could just stick in this thing for a Dig Docker. Fires rocks, not fireballs, so... Yeah, you gotta count, it takes seven hits to paralyze it. And it doesn't really give any cue that it's, uh... That's stunned, that you can actually use your arrows on it. Uh, not too hard to avoid, you actually maybe just stand in a half tile. And then, uh, just stick your sword out. You seem to have pretty good chances to get hits in there. Especially when I'm on the edge and really can't go into the walls or anything. So, the big, uh, I don't know what that is, uh, big energy ball is down. And then, not a tri no Triforce, it's the circle with the plus sign. Whatever that's supposed to mean. So, pretty much got that done. And I think we are good on items. Again, I'm just gonna buy a piece of enemy bait, because there's... Just to fill up the inventory, there is more stuff later on. But, alright. So, uh, beat level 9, and a rescue, uh... Not sure if this is supposed to be Zelda, or whoever represents this world. Okay, so that is Hands of Atlas, and there's actually some more stuff to do after this, so I'm not going to give the quick little review until after we finish that point. So it's just one more little thing to do, and we'll be doing that in the next part. Alright, see you guys later!